and will actually make me more likable. It's what you call a self-fulfilling prophecy. Culture isn't cumulative. We, we somehow think that there's a climate of ideas and everybody absorbs it and they add on what's modern and they discard what's out of date. But if people aren't taught things, they don't know them. And every time you teach something, you have to remember that it's new to the students. They have never heard this before, especially in philosophy. My first book was Leibniz's Metaphysics, a Historical and Comparative Study, which I wrote in 1989. I'm working on a, a book called Imminence and Imposition, which is about two conceptions of morality. And one, one conception um, involves the idea that morality springs from within us on the basis of our natural altruism, our sympathies, our uh, fellow feeling. And the other view is that morality is an imposition from outside that regulates competitive and aggressive human tendencies. I enjoy walking around this campus and looking at the, the changing seasons. The weather's always different here. And, um, Point Grey, the, uh, the birds, the green things springing up at this time of year. The last lecture I gave for the first years was on love. And I was impressed with the level of questions that, uh, that I got. I asked them to write them down on pieces of paper because I thought people didn't necessarily want to be shooting their hands up in class asking about their particular preoccupations. But they were, they were very idealistic, and that's what I like to see in, in students. Sometimes I think that we, are, we approach them with a certain level of cynicism and world weariness, and uh, oh, we're telling them that the world is a terrible place. And, and um, although philosophy is a critical discipline and we're constantly trying to break down people's prejudices and cheerful assumptions about things, um, I'm, I'm worried about cynicism in teaching. I try to put the best face on what I present to people, and uh, I think that they, they take it well.